Hello everyone, Lukosh here, and welcome back to, finally, a new video, yes! Um, it's been uh, almost two months, and uh, yeah, there's no excuse really. I just have no motivation slash inspiration to do anything for Suta-kun. And I'd rather not do anything than do something I don't actually like. So, yeah. And now I uh, actually got some inspiration because I had an idea popped into my mind, which is something we uh, start doing in this video as well. And it's really dumb, it's stupid, and it looks awful, but I think it's cool nonetheless, so I just wanted to throw it in a video. And I was like, well, why not just start the new zoo we have? with its first themed area being Russia. The original idea was to have a Dutch themed area, but the idea I had in my mind was very Russian, so I figured, eh, might as well do Russian stuff. It's original, I haven't really seen something like this attempted before in Zutakun. If it has been attempted before, please do send me a link because I would love to see what other people have tried to do because uh, it's awful. The thing is I tried to make a Russian temple kind of thing. A Russian... I don't even know what they are. The, what are they? The churches? The, are they churches? The thing in St. Petersburg. It's a church, right? I'm not sure. It's a cool looking building with these spires on top of them and I was like okay how am I going to make spires in Sutukun 2 and I came up with this idea <laughs> the, the golden gorilla statue if you rotate it eight times you get a spire with a stone base and I think that's actually pretty cool because I started thinking about uh, objects with a curve, with an arc, so that if we rotated it eight times around itself, you would get a spire, because that's how shapes work. Um, and I started off with the letters, which you will also see me doing later, which, uh, yeah, of course that works, but I wanted something bigger and something uh, filled in, so eventually I settled with the gorilla statue, and it actually works pretty well, honestly. It isn't the best, but it, it, it's, it's a spire, which I think is cool. Now, the, the bad thing about these buildings is the rest of the building, apart from the spires. <laughs> I really do like the spires, it's just the rest of the building, uh, it's, it's not the best. But I had to make do and Russian architecture is not something I'm good at, it's not something I've even done before anywhere ever. Like Egyptian architecture and standards uh, European architecture, I can do that, that is easy. I've been doing that for years, but this is weird. <laughs> but it's cool, it's something new and I like uh, new stuff. Uh, but yeah, I tried to get some green in there with the trash cans and some white with various objects and it kind of works, but uh, it could be better. But oh well, it's a cheap Dutch shoe with some mock Russian architecture, so it's fine if it isn't perfect. Um, but that's actually it for the architecture part, for, for now actually. We have this view post overhanging thingy, what's it called? Yeah, view post actually, where I indeed use the letters to create a spire kind of things, just to give it a kind of Russian feel. I'm not sure if it even is a Russian feel, but in my head it's, it's Russian. <laughs> I associate spires with Russia, or the Ottomans, but let's not do Ottoman stuff. Have I said what animal is going to be in this exhibit already, apart from the title of the video? It's going to be Eurasian lynxes, okay? <laughs> because small cats are a very standard and good animal for a small zoo, I feel. They're kind of spectacular, but not too big. 
you can have a fairly basic exhibit layout, so that's great. Um, we have these cool fences with a uh, overhang thing into the exhibit so the cats can jump out because lynxes are stupidly good jumpers. Uh, it's probably still not the safest exhibit in the world, but uh, screw it, it's a video game. And if it's really bad, we can always put a roof over it, even though that will screw everything up because it's on a hill, but oh well. Uh, I try to not have too many jumping platforms in there, so I place the logs and stuff in the middle of the exhibit and only put one tree in there. Which meant we had to make it interesting by other stuff than height. Because normally if you want something to look cool, you just place some uh, some trees and some logs and it will be fine. But now we really had to do rocks and shrubbery and crown textures and elevation and all the hoo-ha we normally do. Christ, my voiceover has... <laughs> These two months have not been good for my voiceovers, guys. I need to do this more often. And I really do want to, but I only want to put Zitakoon videos on this channel because no one is no one wants to see other stuff. Plus I don't really do anything other than Zitakoon, honestly. Rocket League, but no one wants to see that. Um yes, we are doing backstage stuff. Because as I said in the last video, um we are actually going to try to make this a functioning zoo, um, imaginatively, is that a word? Not like an in-game uh, functioning zoo, but in real life this would actually work, kind of, that kind of ID words. Um, so yeah, we made the backstage stuff, it's, they have a quarantine area and a little uh, extra outside them for if they really need to be close up or something because I think we would have two lynxes in here but honestly I'm not sure if you even can have multiple lynxes in an exhibit because I think they're kind of territorial so that's up to you guys please uh, let me know but that's it for the uh, exhibit again and for the video guys so I hope you enjoyed this and um, yeah, and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and all the hoo-ha. And hopefully I'll be more consistent in a new year. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.